Hey guys, so we're going through a relatively quick example on partially submerged bodies and looking at stability. So here we've got a cylinder. It's a meter long, five millimeters in diameter. It floats vertically in oil and we've been asked to find what portion of the cylinder is submerged and whether or not it is stable. So here is the cylinder. Obviously the dimensions are not to scale here, but we've got that submerged in water uh, we've got two forces on it, as we know, which is the buoyancy force and weight. Um, and here we've got, we know that the buoyancy force acts at the centroid of the submerged body. So the centroid of, of the submerged body is this bottom portion here. So it would be that vertical force. Um, so that would be our FB. And we know that the weight acts at the center of gravity, which would be the one at the top here going down. So equilibrium about the, in, in the vertical direction, we have FB equal to W. Looking at each of these, we know that FB equals rho F G V B and W equals rho B G V B. Now these VBs uh, refer to other things, so that there, there is better notation uh, for it, which I'll do in the next step, but uh, this volume here is the volume of the submerged body, so we've got to remember that we're always only considering submerged bodies when we're dealing with the buoyancy force, and when we're dealing with the weight, it's always incorporating the whole body. So writing that in better notation, we have rho oil, so the density of the oil times G times the volume that is submerged equals rho of the cylinder times G times the total volume V. So we've got values for each of those. We're going to sub it in um, and try to get our value for the depth. So back to our example here. We're going to define the length from the bottom of the cylinder to the top of the fluid as a variable L. And we're going to solve for L. Um, and we'll do that by subbing in our values here. Our rho, the uh, specific gravity of oil, was given to us as 0.85.